Our God is an awesome God. He is kind, tender-hearted and merciful. Our Father loves us with an everlasting love and he is always concerned about our welfare. All that we need he provides through Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. God should always be revered and adored. He should have our utmost respect. Today, bless the Lord. Lift up your praises to the one who is the living God, our God, who is the Father. Amen. Good morning, everyone, and welcome. So some of you may be familiar with uh, Facebook videos where they ask you questions like what was the last film you watched? What did you have for tea? What time did you get up this morning? And um, it's quite fun seeing people's answers. So I have a question for you today. Who do you miss the most? What do you miss the most? And where do you see God in the world today, in your life today? Last week we heard about Jesus telling his disciples at the Last Supper to believe in God, to believe in him and that he was preparing a place for them where they can be with him including in the here and the now. Just hours before the greatest act of love ever happened before Jesus was crucified he spoke to his disciples again with the message that would remain with them forever. Morning everyone, hope everyone's keeping well. This morning's reading is John 14 verses 15 through to 21. Jesus promises the Holy Spirit. If you love me, keep my commands and I will ask the Father and he will give you another advocate to help you and be with you forever. The Spirit of Truth the world cannot accept him because it neither sees him nor knows him but you know him for he lives with you and will be in you i will not leave you as orphans i will come to you before long the world will not see me any more but you will see me because i live you also will live on that day you will realize that i am in my father and you are in me and i am in you Whoever has my commands and keeps them is the one who loves me. The one who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I too will love them and show myself to them. This is the word of the Lord. I've come inside to be sheltered from the wind. I might go out again in a minute. Jesus, knowing of his planned crucifixion, after being raised and then he's going to ascend into heaven, he reassured them that they would not be alone, that he was going to send them an advocate to be with them. And this meant helper, so they wouldn't be on their own. And this would be the Holy Spirit. Jesus said to them, if you love me, you will keep my commands. And in Deuteronomy, it tells us to love the Lord with all your heart, with all your soul and with all your strength. It says, impress my commands on your children. Talk about them. When you sit at home and when you walk along the road and when you lie down and when you get up, tie them as symbols on your hands and bind them on your foreheads. Write them on the door frames of your houses and on your gates. These were given that so that they could have a life living in God's blessing, walking with God and keeping to his will. And to the disciples, Jesus said, keep my commands and that advocate that jesus was talking about was the third part of the trinity the holy spirit think about it god was here from the beginning and then he sent jesus and then jesus sent the spirit so you see at any point where one seems to leave we are reassured that god is still here with us even though what we are familiar with quite often seems to change. There is no point in time where God has not been present. 
Father, Son and Spirit. And Jesus is making sure that they know that they're not going to be left alone. And so we ask this question. Good morning, everyone. All right, lads. What, 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 who do you miss at Messy Church? Everyone. Everyone. Good boys. And what do you miss at, ch at Messy Church? Everything. Like? Painting. Like? Painting. Colouring. Good boys. And uh, what about God? Where's God with you now? Everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. You're going to say goodbye to everyone then? Say see bye. you soon. Bye bye. Bye. Cam and Lukey, hi, we miss you too, guys. Really looking forward to seeing you. I don't know when it will be, but yeah, we miss you too. It's really good to see you. Maybe you are thinking about somebody you miss the most during lockdown or something that you are missing the most. God sent his spirit so that we don't have to be alone. God is someone who will never depart from us. But in knowing this, how do we know that God is here with us now? What does it look like that God is in our life? Well, some people have the chance to blame God on what's going on around us. And a famous preacher called J. John, you may have heard of him, recently commented on COVID-19 and said that whilst blaming God had been filling the airwaves, and whilst most Old Testament laws had been ridiculed, it may have been a good idea to be reminded of Leviticus 11.19, which says, Thou shalt not eat bats. We are also going back again to the Old Testament. This reminds us of um, the Exodus. Exodus 22 from verse 17, as Moses He's trying to lead the people in the right way. And he says to God, God, help, help me. Where do you want me to, to lead them? How do you want me to do this? And God said to Moses that he would send his presence to be with him. And so God told Moses that he wasn't allowed to see his face because his glory was so great. So what he would do, he would cover Moses, um, probably like a cave area, um, a sort of a cavern, so that Moses could not see God's face as he passed. But when God did pass, Moses would be able to see the back of him. He would be able to see where God had been as he passes by. He would be able to see God's behind. He would be able to see where he had been. And so when we ask the question, where is the, where is the spirit, the presence of God, where can it be seen today? Quite often we can see where God has passed us by or where we can see he's been present in our lives. Very often we can see where God has intervened in our lives after the event, sometimes more clearly than as it's happening. And that's quite often we don't see things. We don't see where God's been in our life until after it's happened. And then we can see clearly where he's been. We can see God through the way that people come together to help each other, to care for each other. We can see God through the NHS workers as they tirelessly fight this disease without a hint of giving up. We can see God at work when somebody lifts the phone to call a neighbour, to call a friend. We can see God at work through Captain Tom who raised over 30 million for the NHS. We can see God when we are comforted during our darkest times, when we feel strength and comfort and hope. We can see God at work when we're forced to stop our busy lives and rethink what is important in our life. God uses the opportunity to show us where we could have been going wrong and where we should go from here. New beginnings. Fresh starts with God with us. A God that isn't to blame, but a God that in this situation creates, renews and restores. And so to finish with in today, what we noticed during lockdown is our human nature to be close to people. 
it's natural for us to instinctively move closer. If we are separated, we feel the need to pull close together. So when we are told to social distance, it's not natural and it's not easy. We go for a walk, we keep our distance, but we find ourselves moving slowly closer together. And it's easy to get closer without realising it. It's not natural for us to be kept apart. John's Gospel reminds us that God wants relationship with us. He wants us to love him. He wants us to be close to the Spirit. It's natural for our spirit to be close to the Spirit of God as he created us. To stay close so that we can be assured, reassured and comforted. And as we said last week, there are good times and there are bad times. But we will get through this together with the love for each other, with compassion for each other and with the Holy Spirit. We will be united in love. In Jesus' name. Amen. I invite you to join in with the words if you want to on the screen as they appear. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let's
Thank you.